Hello you guys, it's Dennis here for Delight Times Graphics and welcome to Double T Friday. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this shadow text effect with Corel Draw 2021. So make sure you stick around till the end of this video. And as always, let's jump right in. This video is brought to you by Template Monster. Template Monster is a digital marketplace of unique and creative products for designers. With Template Monster, you can pick up website templates, WordPress themes, plugins, and even graphics for your projects. As a graphic designer, you can use Template Monster to get ready-made design templates such as logos, product mockups, magazines, flyers, vectors, illustrations, fonts, and even PSD templates. And this will help speed up your workflow. And if you are good at creating design templates, you can create and sell your templates when you become an author and start making passive income. To try Template Monster for yourself, make sure you sign up with the link in the description to get amazing discounts. So at the time of this recording, we are over 3000 subscribers and I must say thank you very much you guys are so amazing and we are aiming even more than this so this video is dedicated to our 3000 subscribers and we all here at delightance graphics are saying thank you very much you guys are so amazing so let's go straight into it so this is corel draw and once you open up your corel draw the first thing you see is this screen where you have to click on new document to create a new document and once you do that you have this dialog box and all you have to do is to set your page how you want your page to look like and then we are actually making this shadow effect for your desktop background or any other uh, size you want to use it for but for me I'm going to set my uh, unit to pixels because I want to set it on my desktop background and then I'm going to set the width to 1 to 80 and then my height to 720 okay okay that's it and then you click on ok to open up your workspace just like this so this is actually the size you're going to work on and then you bring in your shape click on your rectangle tool and create this shape just like this and remember Corel Draw 2021 does not have the feature where you can double click on the rectangle tool to create a new shape just like this one so then i'm going to type here 1 2 80 and then i'm going to type here 720 and click on enter and then you get this size here you press p on your keyboard to set your size to your work page and then you can right click on this empty space to click on set outline color to take off the outline and next thing you want to do is to type in your text just like this one okay this is it and then i'm going to click on text click on change case and click on upper case okay so this is it and then you can set your uh, typeface to champion okay and that's it but then i want to work with another font family here so i'm going to click here and open up my champion and then you go to champion gothic lightweight and that's it then you can open it up like this and press p on your keyboard to place it at the center of your page just like this and then you're going to press ctrl k on your keyboard to break the text apart you see i've been able to break thank from you and then you still need to break this text again so i'm going to press ctrl k again to break all the letters that follows you and then click on tank as well and press ctrl k and then why it was able to break tank from you was because of the space here okay but then after that you can still break it again you further break it to get these letters one by one so next thing you want to do is to add transparency to each of these text so what we're going to do is to click on the transparency tool and click on your t and then you use the transparency to apply on this other side of the T okay and then it follows the same concept black height and white reveal so you press shift on your keyboard and hide this other side like this so black height here and white reveals here then you can still do it this way and this looks perfect and then we're going to copy this transparency to each of the alphabet here so you click on H and you click on your copy transparency and click on this other text here you need to be careful so you select this perfectly okay 
uh, here, um, here. That's fine. Then you can adjust your transparency just like this. Remember, you have to be careful because when you don't do this rightly, you won't get it. You click on A again and click on copy transparency and here. Do the same to N and uh, you keep doing that till you select all the text you want to apply this effect to. Then you can always copy the transparency from any other text that has that same transparency and that looks fine so this is what we have got and the next thing you want to do is to change your text color to yellow okay I actually use this yellow as my brand color you guys know my brand color is yellow and red and those two colors are my main brand colors every other color are just accent but these two are my main colors okay let's click on the uh, white background and give it a black color just like this and you see how the effect looks like on the on the black background and then you can always uh edit this uh transparency again to fit all what you want you can see how it looks it looks very cool and nice and this adjustment is only if you are not satisfied with your first um effect you did okay this is not actually straight so i'm going to make this straight okay that's fine okay so this is it and next thing you want to do is to select all and press ctrl g on your keyboard to group this and press ctrl on your keyboard and hold this corner here okay press ctrl and bring this down and you can see i've been able to bring flip this downwards so you right click to mirror this here and that's fine and next thing you want to do is to create your transparency but before then we are going to bitmap this other text we have just mirrored down here okay you click on text you click on convert to bitmap and rgb color okay and next thing you want to do is to click on your transparency tool and the same concept follows black height and white reviews you press shift on your keyboard and create this sorry press shift and create this transparency here and you can take the white part upwards and this is what we have got and that's it okay this looks perfect and it looks it looks cool and looks nice okay next thing we are going to do is to type here 3000 subscribers and click on text change case uppercase okay and i'm bringing this here give this white color but then I'm going to change my typeface to uh, to Lato. Good, that's it. Make it bold and then reduce it this way and place it here. Press Shift on your keyboard and select your black shape and press C to centralize that. So this is actually how this effect is done. And then you can select all here. Press Ctrl G to group this. Press Shift and select your black uh, shape and press C to centralize as well so everything you know I like aligning my elements to uh, fit my uh, design concept okay it makes everything move perfectly and go well and nice okay let's bring in this uh, lens flare to spice up the whole stuff yeah I'm going to click on this lens flare and bring it to my coral draw and open it up like this you see it's actually blue and it doesn't really match with the yellow color so i'm going to click on effect click on adjust and click on hue saturation or lightness and then you see i've been able to set i already set my hue saturation and lightness to fit what i want to do so you can set yours to hue minus 162 and saturation minus 10 and your lightness zero okay so this is it and then i'm going to link up this on the description so you can download it and follow up this tutorial okay this is actually free and not just for channel members alone so press sheet and select the shape and press t and press l to align to this other side and then you can adjust this again okay then you click on your transparency click on your image mode and you click on screen and this is what you get okay then you can always reduce this again sorry then click here and reduce this again again perfect but then you see we have this sharp cut around here which i wouldn't like it to be 
that way it's not actually looking nice so all i'm going to do is to click on my transparency tool again and set my match mode to normal and then i'm going to add transparency press shift and highlight here with your transparency tool and that blends with the background then you can convert that to rgb and do the same to this other side and convert that to rgb color and do the same to this other side and that blends with the background very well and next thing we're going to do is to click on effects click on adjust and click on gamma and once you do that you can see how the black becomes even deeper and darker than this okay then you can now change your match mode click on match mode while your transparency tool is selected click on match mode and click on screen and this looks even perfect better than before so this is how it's actually done and then you can take this upwards a little so it becomes more visible press shift and select here and press c so this is it okay uh let's see how it looks like finally and then i'm going to set this as my uh desktop background all through today and even till the weekend thank you very much for watching this video if you enjoyed this video and you learned something new leave a like and make sure you make a constructive comment and let me know if you love this video and then share this video to other graphic designers who may find this video helpful and then once again thank you very much for all our 3000 subscribers you guys are so amazing i'm grateful because you guys without you we can't make this journey successful it's actually because of you we have got to this stage thank you very much for watching this video i'll see you next time